Hey everyone, so I'm here in the uh, absolutely lovely Mill Street. Uh, it's a beautiful day, the weight's off the back, and I'm totally refreshed from my long excursions on the first two sections of the Ireland Way. And uh, I'm ready for section three. The Northwest Cork Way is the third section of the Barra Brefni Way. Starting off in Mill Street, sadly 90% of this trail is on roads and country lanes. However, you are treated to a lovely woods just before the next town, which is Newmarket. From Newmarket, it's a short walk to Lismire, followed by another short push to finish off at John's Bridge. What can I say about Mill Street? Mill Street it packs a punch with character. The people I've been blown away by, by their friendliness, their hospitality, and their willingness to talk to, to an absolute stranger. As soon as I came into the town, I was picked up by the incredible uh, Eileen. From her house now, uh, this whole section, I'm going to be using it as a base, as she's kindly offered to pick me up and drop me off at points where I begin and stop. Eileen was even kind enough to uh, take the weight of my bag and give me this, just for my camera stuff and just to uh, allow me a bit of a speedier uh, walk along the way. No sooner had Eileen left me off in Mill Street to get a few shots and start my walk to Derna Gray, when the amazing Isla, Isla Buckley came over to me and asked me was I filming. Uh, you were involved in getting the O'Sullivan Bear route up and running. I was indeed and I was very proud to be associated with it. And uh, a man called Jim Sullivan from Castletown Bear phoned me. I don't know who he phoned me, but he used me anywhere far as his link here in Midstreet. And I was delighted to be associated with it. And, uh, you know, it was, it sounded like an impossible dream. And he had some unbelievable stumbling blocks along the way. But Jim was never daunted by, by any of these things. And he... He begged and he borrowed for funding for the different things. And the last step, of course, was uh, the last piece in his jigsaw was the, the crossing of the Blackwater here in Mill Street. But it took until about four years ago to achieve this. And I was very proud that it was my son built the bridge across the Blackwater when it came to Mill Street. Someone's getting <laughs> Once the calf was in, Enda was kind enough to have a little chat with me. Smile dog, you're on the internet. <laughs> What's the dog's name again? Bella. Bella. Yeah. Absolutely lovely dog. And the other one? Nikki. Nikki. Oh, absolutely too. Absolutely gorgeous dog. Um, so I just helped you with a sick calf there. Yes. Uh, what, what, does, what, does it, what does it have? Uh, pneumonia. Yeah, is, 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 is that a common one or? It's common enough in young cows. Yeah. Change the weather. Just yeah. get cold one night and yeah. lift up in the rain and yeah, it develops. Yeah. And uh, I told you I was going to do in the Ireland Way 1,000 kilometres. <laughs> what, what do you think about that? <laughs> um, rather you than me. <laughs> I wouldn't do it, but I know. I suppose once you get beyond Lismire, it becomes more level ground and easier to travel. But here to West Cork is hard going. So it's nice to see that this is an old road and uh, yeah, it gives me a chance to try out the hiking boots and uh, see how my feet feel in them again. So the dirt path didn't last too long and now I'm back on roads. And there's no signpost. But my map is telling me 
you turn right that way. Looks like I made a new friend. He just came up to me, heard this scrambling behind. The next thing, I see this lovely little fella. Huh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> So I uh, just found another Elvis there, and even then, it's kind of hiding behind the bushes, a sneak little bugger. If there's one thing I really dislike when hiking, it's walking on busy roads. So once again, the signs have disappeared. Uh, to get to this cottage here, you gotta take that road down there. That's what I was told anyway. The path actually led me down to a river, and there was only one thing for it. So uh, very cool and refreshing on the feet, but um, I'm just after realizing there's a footbridge just over there. Oh well. Once I had my socks and boots back on, I came across a steely figure, sound enough to chat with me. So I just crossed a river down there, um, it probably wasn't the wisest thing to do, was it? No, no, uh, actually if you were more observant you'd have seen the footbridge. But you got away with it today because after the hot, dry summer we've had, the water is extremely low. Okay. But otherwise, that's not crossable by walking. Okay. So that was Noel, and uh, he used to be a schoolmaster. And uh, I do believe I just got a bit of a telling off. <laughs> And there lies a relic of our mighty Celtic tiger. Casey's garage signifies the end point of this section. It's also where you can pick up a stamp. So that's it, John's bridge has been reached and uh, I've completed this section. It's been a really, really fascinating section. Not because of the scenery necessarily, because it was primarily roads, but just the, 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 the people that I've met along the way. Absolutely incredible, absolutely amazing. And I must say I've really, really enjoyed uh, my walk.